time to break down a trailer, another one, and then get loads of comments saying that everything I say is wrong. Woo! My reign has just begun. Hey guys, it's Alexander here, and today we are going to be breaking down the second Game of Thrones Season 7 trailer, hashtag winter is here. I've got nothing else to say, I think we should just get into it. So yeah, we're going to do that now, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you find it thrilling. Don't forget you can carry on your conversations down below in the comment boxes, it's really interesting to see what everyone has to say, so yeah, we're going to do So, we start off with this beautiful scene here. And in this scene, we have, I'll just get the camera out playing for you. We have a little thing saying, don't fight in the north, don't fight in the south. Fight every battle, everywhere, in your mind, always. Sorry, always in your mind. Um, now, it's a sh we can assume by this that he is talking to Sansa because he doesn't really speak to anybody else and doesn't let anybody else kind of in. I mean, I don't particularly think he lets her in. I still think he's manipulating her. But I think, as you can probably see from this picture around her, all around here. She doesn't look like, she's that smile, she kind of has a smile on. Um, like, like she's like, well, you know what, I'm, you're not gonna manipulate me. I think she, I don't think she'll get manipulated and I honestly think that, she, that I said in the season, in the previous season trailer, trailer one, that I think she, that little thing will die and she might kill him. So, that's that. <laughs> We've got the gate open here again, people coming in and out. Lovely video image of John here, um, looking very like he's got some grey hairs. Obviously, it's snow. Oh, snow, John Snow on snow, and he looks like he's returning from the north. This might lead into the battle that we see a little bit later on. So I'll be interested to see who survived and who hasn't. Obviously, John has. If this is set before it, which is I assume is what it is, it, it could be set after it. I sorry, I mean I assume it is set after. The battle that we see a little bit later on with the White Walkers, but who knows? This show takes you anywhere. And then here we've got. Now I'm trying to work out. And so this scene here, these people are clapping. These people who have turned up, this army. I think it is Euron Greyjoy's army, which you'll see a little bit later on, which I think is what is happening. Because I don't think it looks the colours on representative rep representative of the Lannister army. So personally I don't think it's them, but whoever it is, they're made up that they're there. We see some shots of everyone turning around looking very Daenerys feeling up her map there, which is beautiful. And then we've got some people in a boat there. I don't know who they are, but they're, they're going for it. Then we've got Arya here. She looks like she's somewhere a little more warmer than last time we saw her. She was building a fire and she was like, it's so cold. So I, I'm really interested to see where her story goes this season. I do have a possible scenario, which I think might happen, but I will explain that later on in, in this video. So yeah. And then we've got Jamie here. Now I think, I'm still going with the fact that they, this is Castle Rock. Oh, it's got to be a major settlement. I don't think this is King's Land. Actually, that might be King's Landing. But later on, I don't think it is because the colours are different. Anyway, it could be the Red Keep. What I do want to say is later on there is a part, you know, with the war, or well, the fight that Daenerys and that Dothraki vert and well, everyone versus the Lannisters. I honestly don't think that she would send them just to a little settlement, a Lannister settlement, say that either. She's either sending them to Castle Rock or it's King's Landing, and I don't think it's King's Landing because there's a lot of grass around it and I just don't think that fits in with what we see in King's Landing because it's a city, so I do still think it's Castle Rock, but anyway, that's, that's another story. Baelish there looking creepy as fuck is just so creepy and it stresses me out. Then we get to this really good bit here, that there's another rep, it is Daenerys, oh. This is where they say the centuries our family have fought together against their common enemy. And you see Daenerys there, let's just go back. Daenerys ripping down a um, Baratheon, Sanus Baratheon um, sigil sign, which is awesome. Those dragons, oh, they're so gorgeous, look at them. Just look at that. That is such a beautiful scene, I can't wait for that to see that. But yeah, over this we've got Jon saying that um, to fight their com common enemy, um, despite their differences. And then together, 
we need to do the same if we're going to survive because the enemy is real and it's always been real. So that's what he's saying here. So let's go and have a quick look at what we're seeing because there's a lot of stuff that happens in that time. So. I still personally don't think that he's talking to Daenerys because my only thing is that, that is because, and I know they, I know they, they were together a long time ago, as in like families joined, but I honestly don't think the way he, what he's talking about is completely different to what Daenerys is wanting and I just, unless he's trying to tell her that what is going on in King's Landing isn't the main thing, because apparently they do meet up. So drop me pen. That was how dramatic it was. Maybe he is, but I just think the way he's talking, he's talking to someone about the White Walkers. So I still think, I think it's a house up in the north, possibly, that he's talking to. And that is when he's he saying our house is fought together. Maybe it is the Greyjoys. The other houses up there, you know, you it's a difficult one. A lot of you do say that you think he is talking to Daenerys because they do meet up. But I still, maybe, I don't know. It's, it's just the way he says it, he's saying about that families fought together for centuries. I don't think the Targaryens work together with the Starks for centuries. Because I don't think they were there, were they, at the beginning? So maybe he's talking to, I don't know, I don't know how else it could be. Let me know what you think it is in the comments below. Maybe I'm being stupid, but. And we've got, he looks, oh, Grey Worm just looks epic there. Now this, ugh. Brienne and Podrick look so badass in Winterfell there that I literally can't even deal. It looks so good and I cannot wait to see them back in action. Just, ugh, the best. And we've got a little bit just to do there, the Hound there. Um, now the Hound's in the snow, so this... There is obviously a big congregation of people that come together, which we'll see at the end. He's obviously north of the wall. He's north of the wall, and we also see later on that Beric is north of the wall. So I'm assuming that they meet meet up with the Starks, and that sort of will jump, and they find, that's how we get that part. So yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Yeah. Then we've got here, oh look, there's Jamie and Bran. Bran? Bron? Sorry, Jesus Christ, all these bees. Now this is obviously the fight. The big massive fight. I don't know if this is going to be one of the last episodes we see, possibly, but it looked absolutely fucking epic. Now this, this raven here, wargs as you can see there, I don't know if it's all of them or just that one, is Bran warging this one and they're over what I think looks like an army of whites because we see in a minute he looks up and I do, I do actually think he's looking up at the, at the ravens and that's when Bran obviously is like, whoa! There. Obviously it would kind of make sense because the Three-Eyed Raven bride and said that um, you know you will never walk in but you will fly and there is the there is the flying part of what he was talking about obviously the Raven. Bran's finally got a wheelchair which is a l you know taken six seasons but whew, he got there in the end they managed to build him one. I don't know who this gentleman is. Is it Bryden? I cannot tell. I thought he was dead. I don't know unless it's like unless he's seeing him in his mind. Who knows, but he's back, he's back at that tree. Anyway, everyone's favorite tree. It's always been around. And, oh, right, that scene now. I've got some stuff written down here about what I think's gonna happen. Because you'll think I don't do my research, but I do, okay? Beric, this scene steals the entire trailer for me. Steals it away from Daenerys, just on an inch, okay? Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, you know, I'll never, I'll never leave her. But this, that scene, that is like wallpaper material on your phone. This, uh, this is, I think, will conclude the prophecy of um, the one that was promised. Okay? Because it said, you know, that the one that is promised will lead the people against darkness. Which is the White Walkers. The white darkness to the white walkers and in that time a warrior shall draw from the fire a burning sword which is this little number here hello darling he who clasps the sword 
will be the will be Azure Azure I don't know, is it Azure or Azor? Azor Aha Azor Born again, basically. And the darkness shall run away from him, basically. <laughs> that is that. Now I personally obviously we know that two high priests and priestesses have said well the have that it's either Daenerys or John that are the one who's promised. Now I'm not saying that Beric is the one that's promised because he, he in the in the books he's dead, so that wouldn't make any sense. But there's a scene later on where I think this could form a something that makes sense. So just bear that in mind. Keep the this whole thing in one until we get to that bit, which is in like three seconds or something, I don't know. So here are, here are the Greyjoy army and they're, they're approaching King's Landing. So I, that's what makes me think that those people that were walking up, walking up to, um, sorry, walking through King's Landing, people were clapping, it makes me think that that's them. And possibly they have, they have got, I don't think they've got Daenerys, but uh, they, they've got a couple of people from Daenerys' army and they're sailing to take them to the Queen to say, look, Daenerys is here, these these people know where they're going to go. Like, we're saving you, basically. So I think that's what's going to happen. And we've got a lot of Unsullied here fighting, which is the part where I still think it's Castle Rock. Daenerys, just looking beautiful. A lot of people think that this is the part where she's talking to Jon. I don't know. I'm not looking at anything or any images. So, now this scene, where, let me just get to this bit, look at that face. If that face doesn't tell you that Cersei's dead, I don't know what does. Because he is really not giving a shit here. I mean, everything's on fire, so we can assume that this is definitely, obviously, the scenes with Daenerys and the dragons. But God love him, I love Jaime, so I'm interested to see where his character goes this season. Again, more of the um, attack on the ships. Tormund there, looking absolutely badass. And then here we've got this, we've got the dragon, you can see, um, middle mouth, look, you can see Daenerys just popping up there um, on, that's Drogon, isn't it? Looks like Drogon. Um, and you've got all the Dothraki here. And this is why I think it's Castly Rock, because there's loads of bloody rocks everywhere, okay? So if you were telling me last time, it's not Castly Rock. Well, why are all the rocks there? Probably still wrong, that's what, anyway. <laughs> Then here we've got Asher and um, Theon looking like shit. This is what I also still assume is the attack on the ships. They're looking at that, which is happening. And then we've got here, we've got more of the armies fighting against each other. Now this is the part I wanted to go back to. So the whole thing about the one that is promised. If it's possible that Beric dies here, and then his red priest isn't able to bring him back for a seventh time. Is it possible that John takes the sword and hence the one who was promised is there? You know, that's what I think could happen. Is that I don't want Beric to die because he's a badass. Or Beric could possibly die. John gets the sword. The one who was supposed to, the one who was promised is here. Do you know what I mean? Possibility. Then we've got there's some more scenes I've got looking really serious. Now this, I don't know who this bloody is and I've tried to brighten it. They've come out of a box here, okay? There's a box there so I have no idea who the hell it is and it's stressing me out. I don't know if it's the Hound or if it's maybe Asher, I don't know, I can't tell. And it's really annoying me because they've done it on purpose, you can see. Unless it's, a, is it a throwback to Ned Stark? I don't know. Is it possibly a flashback? It could be a flashback, do you know what I mean? Who knows? Then we've got John there and Davos looking just like the dream team that they are. See, this is what makes me, this is the what people are saying is that he there is at um, Dragonstone with all the rocks. So we do know that he's going to go there. Maybe it is that possibility that he is talking to Daenerys about, you know, the families coming together. I, who knows, we'll have to wait and see. 
Then we've got a White Walker fighting John there and just like going for it with his life. God love him. I'll be interested to see uh, how long it takes John to kill that one. Dothraki running through the fire there is just absolutely epic and beautiful. I love it. Then we've got Theon here dropping to the floor, which is obviously after we can assume that Asha was taken or killed, but I just think she was taken. Asha's going to be taken. Um, and it stops him like, oh my god, my sister's gone. So. Then here we've got some very much, some more fights on the boat. And then, oh, just that little scene there. Can you just pop up and just see her lovely little face? And then up there at the top, you can see here, it's Daenerys looking hello. And Drogon just looking badass as hell. This is still cast, this is not cast rock, sorry. This is still Dragonstone. So I don't, this is obviously maybe when she's just been somewhere. Oh, she's landed. And look at those teeth. Oh. Beautiful creature. And then we get this amazing moment here. We've seen that before. And we get the line of Sansa saying, When the snow falls and the white wind blow, and the white winds blow, the lone wolf will die and the pack will survive. And this is just a beautiful... I just, oh. The lone wolf dies and the pack survives. Now, I think it's trying to say it's John, but we know that John isn't the lone. John is the white wolf. Rob was the young wolf. In the books, there's a part where Ned Arya is recounting Ned telling her a story that, which is literally that line that the the um, when the lone wolf when the when the snow falls and the and the and the white winds blow, the lone wolf will die and the pack will survive. So is it possible that she's talking about Arya? Because to me, when the snows fall, is when Jon Snow falls, and possibly Ramsay Snow. Do you know what I mean? The bastards. When the snows fall and the white winds blow, which is obviously the arrival of the White Walkers. The lone wolf will die and the pack will survive. It's, I think that's going to be the line that everyone's going to be overthinking, contemplating, whatever. But um, I did think it was Sansa at first, but it was only when I was writing it all down and then it clicked and I was like, I'm sure there's something about that, Ned, and it was that Arya in the book is told by Ned. Um, well, she recalls it, that he said that line to the story to her that basically the pack survives. So I'll be really interested to see <clears throat> if that's what it's about. And at the end here, we have a lovely little, that beautiful moment there with John and what looks like, I don't know if they're wildlings or white walkers. They could be the, the white, sorry, not white walkers, the whites. I'm assuming they, they are possibly the whites of the wildlings from the end of Hard Home. Who knows, I'm really excited and then that just beautifully goes into our final little bit of Game of Thrones, the new season. So yeah, that is it. I really enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see sort of how it develops and what we, I'm just literally really excited to see everything that happens. It's just made me so much more excited and I keep watching the trailer. So I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments below or if you've got any other theories or anything like that, drop them in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And yeah, until next time. See ya.